hi. <laughs> um, you can call me a matrix. A lot of people do. Um, I'm 37 years old. I am currently in San Diego, SoCal, California. I never thought I would live here. And I am trying to move back home. Um, been single for a couple of days now. Um, I've had some time to like work through a lot of emotions and kind of process it. And first it was like really hard, but um, now I'm doing a lot of the like process where you acknowledge the feeling that you have, you feel the feeling you have, and then you let it go. You don't kind of ruminate in it. You just kind of understand and accept that it's a passing moment, so um, which a lot of moments in our life are passing um, by every second. One just left. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am in the process of getting rid of almost everything I own. Um, I am working very hard to try to save my reptiles to get them home. Um, but my main priority is to get myself and my dog home. So if the biggest sacrifice that I have to make is my reptiles, then um, I hope that the return on that, I'm sorry, I'm trying to not cry about it. hope the return on that is substantial. So, um, yeah, anyways. Uh, I'm trying to <clears throat> move home as quickly as I possibly can, but I'm also uh, trying to make a very short list of a few things that I would love to do before I leave SoCal and accomplish them um so i'm working on that and it's like go to the beach <laughs> you know what i mean i've never actually walked on the beach here in almost four years um take my dog to a dog beach <laughs> i think that would be kind of cool to do i don't think yeah he's never been to a dog beach he's never seen the ocean um Check out a couple of the museums, at least at Balboa Park. I know there's a lot of outdoorsy stuff, but I broke my foot back in April, and, and then I just broke, like, two toes recently on the same foot, so it's like, I just, I'm not, I'm not really equipped to be walking around a lot right now. Um, just a couple of little things like that before I leave that I want to experience that I haven't had a chance to yet that I really wanted to, um. There's like a lot of things I'm not gonna miss about California and like I'm not trying to be mean about this but I grew up in Wyoming and until I was like a teenager and then I left and I went traveling and I've I've moved a lot in my life like I've lived in um, New York I've lived in Canada I've lived in Colorado I lived in Las Vegas <laughs> and I've even lived in SoCal so I've lived in a lot of different places um, I'll be honest, my favorite place to live is Las Vegas. I think that's amazing. There's always something to do 24-7. There's always new places to eat. There's always new shows. There's always new things to do. Um, I think Vegas is amazing. <laughs> it's my favorite city in the world. Uh, if I ever get a chance, I'd like to go back there someday. So that's where I'd like to live. But um, in the meantime, I am going back home to my family. And they are in Wyoming. Um, a very small town in Wyoming. Um, you can see me getting nervous about it. Uh, I've never, like, felt comfortable in that city. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. And I'm going to have to learn how to be comfortable in that city until I can just be on my own, you know? Like... Be a solid complete adult again because <laughs> I have to give up like everything so um, yeah but the good thing is is I do have somewhere to go and I have somewhere to stay and be and um, I have people who will be around me that love me which is important 
I haven't had that for a little while, so that'll be nice. Um, I do kind of stick out in this city that I'm moving to. Oh, I'm going to be honest, I probably stick out a little bit everywhere, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just my personality, I guess, but, yeah. Um... It's kind of funny because like San Diego is like known for their burritos and it's like the only difference with your guys' burritos here in San Diego is you guys put <laughs> french fries in them <laughs> and avocado. That's all you do. That's all that makes them really kind of special. So, um, I am literally like 15 minutes from the border and there is this opportunity to actually cross over the border without having to like, you know, go through customs and stuff. It's a road, and then it turns around and comes right back into America. So, um, might be doing that. I might try to see the zoo, because I've seen SeaWorld, but I haven't seen the zoo. Um, might try to go out to eat at some restaurant here in town, just by myself, and that'll be, you know. These will all be, like, things that I vlog if I get a chance to. I might try to go back to the Scripps Aquarium, because I really enjoyed that place as well so I don't know if I should be looking at myself or in the little eyeball thing um, and I'm trying to avoid the glare with my ring light and my glasses so you guys will forgive me um, I'm learning and growing things are changing so I can only get better you know you say that and then it's like ah <laughs> but um, yeah, no, like, I think everything's going to be okay eventually. It's just going to, it's just going to take a little bit of time and a lot of work. And I'm fine with that. I like to work. I don't have a problem with working. So, yeah. I'm, again, I'm trying to think of some things that I'm going to miss about Las Vegas, or about San Diego. I was walking earlier and... I was looking at a huge cockroach, like one of the ones that's like the size of your thumb that fly. And I was looking down at it and another one ran across my foot and I was like, nope, not going to miss this. <laughs> like, I love bugs, but like big gross bugs like cockroaches. Oh God, no. Ugh. Gross. Yeah. Um, some other things I'm not going to miss is like all of the Marines all the time. Like, oh my God, it's crazy. And they're all like looking to get married <laughs> like they're all like hey if you have any single friends let me know <laughs> so it's just weird if you talk to them and you make friends with them um a lot of surfer dudes there's nothing wrong with surf surfer dudes like surfer dudes are cool but they're just very like chill bro like we gotta go get the waves and then we gotta go get some something to nosh on bro a lot of people who do like mushrooms and stuff out here that's crazy it was an experience of my own <laughs> um that'll probably be another vlog someday but yeah i am um... you can see that i experience a high and a low and i accept it and it is what it is so um yeah just working really hard to try to get home just working hard I'm exhausted, um, but yeah, I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeful and I'm getting happy. I'm not exactly happy right now, but I'm getting there. Um, today was the first day that I ate food and kept it down because I have chronic nausea, so I end up just raw all the time. Um, today was also the first day that I listed stuff and I also worked and, um, Listing stuff, like all my stuff that I'm trying to sell, all like on Facebook Market. And um, I also worked my job, and then I also cleaned, and I prepped stuff for tomorrow, and um, yeah. So it was a very productive day for me today. I was pretty happy about it. Um, I got a couple more hours left in my day. My dog is asleep, though. I'll show you guys my dog someday, and maybe my animals too, especially if I have to leave them. Uh, the good thing is, is I contacted a res re reputable reptile uh, company that I trust that I've gone to for years and years and years to 
by products, by animals, by feeders, everything. If I'm ever in a city, they're the first first store that I go to when I get a chance um, so I can see if there's anything that I need for my dudes. But um, they offered me wholesale prices, which I don't care if I'm getting money for them. I just want them to go to a good home. And I know that these people make sure that people understand what kind of setups they need and kind of care these specific animals need. I have three different reptiles. I have a Tokay Gecko, um, a Mexican Black King Snake, and a Strawberry Pineapple Pac-Man. So yeah, those are my reptiles and uh, it's just hard. I'm trying to get them home, <laughs> get my dog home, get myself home, get uh, as much as I can of my stuff home as long as it's not like, like I'm not sending home like candles and things like that, but I'd like to keep like my books and my DVDs and I'd like to keep my clothing and I'd like to keep those kinds of things, but cut back on a lot of it because there is like something like four storage bins full of just makeup because I used to be really big into buying a lot of makeup and now I'm a lot more selective about makeup I buy and um, I'll have to go through all of those palettes and decide which ones I need to throw away and which ones I should keep so that's going to take me a little bit of time too but I'm kind of at this point too at a standstill because I'm waiting for some boxes to arrive on Friday with tape um, I'm still going to be trying to list things and I'm still going to be working and organizing and just keep pushing as much as I can but it's like I have like stuff like stacked up in corners and it's kind of hunky junky and precarious at this point. I just don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable too. So anyways, um, if you're out there, I just want you to know that you can adjust to anything and you can do anything you want to, but that doesn't mean you have to. That's it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye. <laughs>